Hey guys, welcome to the X-Ring. You see this crazy smile on my face? It's because of what I'm holding. And uh, we're holding a shotgun is what we're holding. We're holding a Dissident Arms KL-12. Guys, I want you to check this out. This is based off of Vepr-12. It has been highly worked by Dissident Arms. Guys, check out that muzzle brake. This is a 12 gauge shotgun. It does have removable chokes. Got the huge mag well here. Guys, this right here, that's your magazine release. This little button right here, this little blue button right in there, that is your bolt hold so you can lock it open to the rear, but it does have last round bolt hold. This is a bolt release here, similar to like a Benelli or a Mossberg or anything like that. And then this is the safety. What's unique about this safety is when you pick it up off the table and you grip it, you can disengage it without even having to move a finger on it. Basically, it's your, your knuckle is going to remove it just like that, and you're ready to go. This is topped off with a Vortex Razor. We'll get to that in just a second. Side charger, left side. It says a Midwest Industries handguard. And look at that. 12 gauge what's also really cool about this is the magazine look at that 20 rounds of 12 gauge so guys in open division now guys this is provided by bryson allen i've got one of these on order mine's going to be this color and green uh, there is no other shotgun for open division in my opinion this thing is crazy crazy fast the trigger on these things have been worked it feels like a true match trigger in these so Guys, I want you to check this out. Now remember, this is a 12 gauge shotgun, okay? I want you to listen how smooth this is. Look at that. I mean, I barely even touched that. Ready? Here we go again. I'm gonna do it with the thumb so you guys can see it. Let's check out the reset. Look at that. I mean, that's shorter than most competition pistols that you shoot. So we are going to put this thing down. We're gonna put some plates down with this thing. We're gonna shoot it and let you guys see the Dissident Arms KL-12. 12 gauge. All right, guys. So completely unfired by me. I'm going to start off with a short mag. This is 12 rounds of 12 gauge seated, ready to go. Let's see if we can run this plate rack. Let me do one or two shots slowly because I don't know what to expect. Wow. We got a mod choke in here right now, but guys, there was almost no recoil. I mean, that was like a push off of a, uh, maybe a comped out 308 all right guys so i reviewed this benelli i've changed it up because i liked it so much i ended up buying it from the guy that uh, i was borrowing it from from Corey. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the, the plate racks at 15 yards i'm going to run it on a timer and then i'm going to shoot that dissident and see how much faster i am with it so that's a decent time it was 250 2.50 you guys can see it right there. Let's compare it to the KL and see how fast we can go with it. All right, guys, so with that Benelli, I was able to get a time of 2.50. That's pretty respectable. I felt like it was a clean run. I'm gonna try this KL-12 here. Let's put it on the plate rack. Man, that's just awesome, man. So here we go. Even with the slow makeup, 2.13. Saved almost a half a second, okay? So, guys, this thing is just freaking unbelievable. And to have a last round bolt hold on a dang shotgun, they can't even figure that out for PCC too well. <laughs> so, guys, I just wanted you to check that out because this is an awesome beast. Bryson said he is going to smoke my 213, and I believe it. All right, let's see what you can do, buddy. you got 179 okay guys so i'm going to show you some of the difference in uh differences between factory practical and open division we'll just omit pcc for now so factory division for three gun you can only physically hold eight in the tube one in the chamber total of nine rounds practical division you can only start with eight plus one but you've got a tube that can hold basically up to 12 plus one, so it'll give you 13. So those guys, a lot of times, I've got 13 plates set up. I wanna show you guys the difference. I believe factory is one of the hardest divisions because your pistol, you can only hold 15 rounds. 
it doesn't matter what pistol it is, you're limited to 15 rounds in the magazine. So you're reloading more on the pistol, you're reloading more on the shotgun, you're reloading more on the rifle because they don't allow extended magazines, 30 rounds is your cap. So what I'm gonna give you a demonstration of, I've got 13 steals, I'm gonna do it for time, I've got to do a reload because I've only got nine in the shotgun, so I should be able to quad load, get one in there, make up the difference, and then we'll show you the difference between, let's say, Bryson shooting the open gun from Dissident. He's not even going to have to do a reload. He's got a box mag, so we'll see. Even if he does a reload, let's see how much faster he is. So here we go. We're going to put it on the clock. We're going to do this officially. And guys, you got to game it. I'm going to try to get a double right here by adjusting my angle so that I could possibly get shot on both of those and you do that a lot of times if you've got movement within an area you want to try to look for those doubles um, that's where i'm going to be at so here we go Okay, had to use a match saver, but that's real world. I'm not gonna do, I'm, I'm not gonna gussy this up. That's 12.24 seconds for 13 with a reload with a match saver. Okay, so 12.24. Let's see how fast Bryson right, can do so it. So you ready? Load, and make ready. 13 steals. Stand by. Now sitting over at a 12. Look at that. 399. Four freaking seconds. That's how fast and awesome that KL 12 is. Good shooting there, buddy. All right, guys. So we're now we've moved back like a normal horse game. We're at 70 yards. Uh, he's gonna be shooting the dissident arms KL 12. We're shooting slugs, you know, pro shooter against YouTuber. Wait a minute, two pro shooters. Welcome to the team, man. Thank you. Kinetics. Guys, I'm going to be shooting for uh, Cobalt Kinetics for 2019 uh, on their pro team. Uh, good news for me. Great to be part of the team. So I'm going to be shooting a lot with this guy right here, and it's a lot to strive for because this kid's fast, really fast. So we're going to do this at 70 yards. Let's go ahead and get one on the steel. Oh, just a hair high. There it is. Nice. That just means I get two. Slugs offhand at 70 is not really the easiest thing, uh, especially I'm running a plastic side up front. And I'm still zeroing my dot out too. Correct, so. correct. Touch high left. All right, so two and two, so we're gonna call it a wash. We're gonna go back to 100. Okay, Bryson on the steel. At a hundred yards. Nice. Excellent. Making that too easy, brother. Got left. All right. Got the hit. It's not the easiest thing to do. I'm getting some heat off of this rib here, so I'm getting a lot of mirage. It's a little hard to see this triangle, but just getting used to the shotgun, but still hitting the 9x9 nine nine steels at a hundred yards. Call it good. Guys, like, share, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the review of this Dissident Arms KL-12. Very, very impressive shotgun. I've got one on the way, but I think we're about three weeks out on it. Uh, price point on this is going to be somewhere a little over $4,000, but it's just awesome, guys. I can't, I can't say enough about the trigger and the controls and how smooth this thing works. It's not just a glorified Vepr. It is a worked, worked Vepr 12, and it's been very, very reliable. Talk to you soon. Okay guys, so we've stepped it back to 70 yards now. So we're gonna do our little challenge again. Right now we both got our hits at 50. After you, sir. Now keep in mind, he's shooting a dot. It's an actual dot. <laughs> Trash talking, here we come. I hit it. No, no, no. that was the chain. I hit it. Uh, that, that thing hit. didn't even move. You're doing that a one a ounce slug. You got to move it. I'll give you a free one. Oh, that's left. <laughs> oh, I... oh, 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 oh. oh, he's going to kill me.
kill my chain. Okay, so here's the here's the old man with his Benelli. Let's see what we can do here. I just want y'all to know that was a hit. Yeah. He is lying. It's a one out slug. You're gonna see. And he's the same gonna move. miss because he's talking too much trash. That's what happens when you hit it. Did you guys see that thing swinging? You see that this is called an iron sight? It's called a fiber optic. 